Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Radical Red playthrough. This is part 15. In the last episode, we made our way to Lavender Town. We cleared out a bunch of stuff in Saffron and Celadon to do with items and move tutors and stuff like that. We have ourselves the same team that we were running for Erica, because honestly, I want to keep running this team for a little bit. I want to make sure I haven't trained up all these Pokemon for no reason. So this episode, we are hopefully going to be going ahead and grabbing the Silk Scope. Because we don't have good old um, Boyo over here, Mr. Fuji, to give us a Poke Flute. So we can't go to Future City. At the end of last episode, for some reason, I considered that an option. When, uh, nope, that's definitely not something we can do. But we do have uh, two other options of things we can do before we go and get the Silph Scope. One of those is we can do the Fighting Dojo in Celadon City. So we'll head over to Celadon City. And we can take a look at what I assume is going to be Chuck. If we're keeping with the theme of having one Johto leader in each area with the other gym, I'm assuming that the fighting dojo is going to be Chuck. That would make sense, right? That would make sense. So we do have that as an option. Uh, whether we want to do that or not, I don't know. In a way, I kind of see Sabrina as the sixth gym, and I feel like we might be going into that a little bit early. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking we could miss that. But another thing that we have definitely missed is we haven't battled Whitney. We've battled Morty, we've battled Bugsy, we've battled Faulkner, but Whitney, the third gym leader, I don't think we ever found. Which is weird, so I kind of want to go and look for her first before we do anything else. Just because at the moment I feel like we're kind of missing something, kind of crucial. Uh, I really hope she wasn't on the SSN. Because I might have messed up if she was. I really might have messed up. If Whitney was on the SSN, then I've completely missed that fight. We got the fishing rod from this dude. I know for a fact that we've been into the, the Pokemon fan club, but I'm going to check again just in case, because I know that we've missed it so far. There is no Whitney in there. If one of those people is Whitney, then her sprite looks very different, and that I'm not to blame. That's not my fault in that case. You? No. To be fair, I could mistake this little child for Whitney, actually. Same hair color, you know, the, the pigtails, all that stuff. That's basically Whitney, okay? Give it like two years, that's Whitney right there. Um, not you. That's every house in Vermillion, isn't it? Oh, was it actually on the SSN? Have I missed my chance to battle Whitney? Uh, I'm gonna check the route to the right? So I haven't actually been on this route, to be honest. I haven't battled, like, any of the trainers here. All I did was I worked out, um, what Pokemon were on the route, and that was it. See, look, I still have all of these beautiful items. Like Soft Sand, which honestly is an item that I probably shouldn't have been missing. These these are decent items, I really shouldn't have been missing these. But uh, we'll see if we can find Whitney here. Whitney won't be a difficult fight, don't get me wrong. Um, she's probably going to have like, whatever levels Lieutenant Surge has. I don't think they scale to level. By the way, Raid Dens though, Raid Dens seem to scale to level. Because I went into it with the team that I have at the moment, and the Raid Den was like level 47. And then I went into it with my other team, which is basically a bunch of Zangus that I'm using so I don't overlevel this team, um, and they were put back to level 30, so weird. Also, found Whitney. Hi Whitney. The last time I am not taking any more autographs. Oh, that's not what you're here for? I'm terribly sorry. There are so many guys asking to take pictures with me, and then they make some gruesome requests like demanding fee pictures. <laughs> Yeah, I've been in a few streams in my day. There's a lot of people that say stuff like that in the chat. Yeah, yeah, people are uh, going down a slope real, real fast head first. It's disgusting and also kind of disturbing, don't you think? Kind of agree. Don't understand the thing with feet. Not my thing. Anyway, I'm Whitney, the world-renowned Miltank user. Oh, oh, she said the thing. Oh, okay, she said the thing. Are you prepared for rollout? I mean, we're a really high level, so we're gonna kind of avoid the, the issue that is Whitney, but still. Perhaps you've heard of me? Definitely heard of you. If it's an intense battle, it's what you want, then that's what you're going to get. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too bad, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I think I'm gonna be like 25 levels above her, but sure. I hope you don't let my cuteness lull you, you'll definitely regret it. In fact, no, we're not gonna be that high above, right? I don't remember what levels of turn search has, okay? I really don't remember. Wiggly tough, level 30, that's fine. We're still gonna go ahead and absolutely tear through this. Am I gonna shell smash? Y you know I'm gonna shell smash. You already know what I'm clicking, come on. It's it's not hidden what I'm doing. 
Have I matured from the last episode and had my, my fun and got it all out of my system? No. No, it's not out of my system yet. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Play rough. Avoided the attack. And now we just spam Rock Slide and uh, we, we win, right? Is it going to be that simple? I kind of feel bad that we didn't do this, like, when we were meant to, but also... When she said world-renowned Miltank user, I'm not going to lie, I got a little bit of a breath of relief that I know for a fact I'm just going to tear through it. Like, this Miltank... is no longer a Miltank. It is now just, you know, a corpse under a pile of rocks and rubble. That's all it is. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm completely okay with that. Also had a Vigor off. It's interesting to see what she would have had. Obviously, I don't see any of the sets they were maybe running. Like, I don't know if there was, like, maybe a, a Rest Mill Tank along with that rollout that she possibly has or anything like that. But, either way. Either way, it's all good. Indeedy. It's an interesting Pokemon. Oh, what are you going to do? Draining Kiss. This is not going to do a whole lot. Yeah, that's with a defense drop, remember, because I don't have the White Herb yet or anything like that. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to even run the White Herb set if I can't get Acrobatics on this mini -all. I don't know. We might just have Shell Smash, and maybe we'll have... I don't know. Ooh! Ooh! Buy Lava Plume. No longer need Lava Plume. We'll keep Flame Charge, because at the end of the day... It doesn't give me recoil, and a speed boost can be useful. Flareon's pretty fast now, don't get me wrong, it's pretty fast now, but a speed boost can be useful against certain Pokemon, so sure. In my younger days, I wouldn't take a loss like that very well. But I'm actually quite happy with myself, as it's clear you're a strong trainer. I'd like you to have these. Eight Moo Moo Milks? Oh, if I had known this was the reward, I'd have been here in an instant. <laughs> Moomoo Milk is a healthy drink straight from my mill tank. Oh, that's... Yeah, you don't need to add that last part, though. I hope your Pokemon enjoy it. Also, here's one of my favorite items. I could have had an Eviolite? Well, I mean, I have an Eviolite. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I've, I've missed it forever. But also, I could have had an Eviolite earlier? Okay. Okay. Anyway, I need to bounce too many creeps on this route. I hope we can see each other soon. Okay, do you have anything on this rock? Escape rope, okay, okay, okay. Well, we have fly, so we can go ahead and get out of there. Uh, we don't have anyone right now that can use an Eviolite. But honestly, Eviolite Gligar. I say it half as a joke, it's a half joke. It honestly wouldn't even be that bad, it really wouldn't. But uh, I assume that we can now access the game corner, because I think the game corner was closed last time we came here. It is now open. Okay, that is good, that is good. Um, what rewards can I get? You let me buy coins. You're not who I need. You're not what I need. I don't have a coin case. Where's the guy that normally gives the coin case? Let's get that first. We even ordered these things. We even ordered these things. It is in one of these buildings. I don't think I've been in any of these buildings, so we'll just go ahead and check them all. There's a basement under the game corner right here. That's where I'm headed. You have a Murkrow. I want to trade for a Chattot. If I could go ahead and scream into my microphone to let the Chattot do its fun cry, I would do it immediately, but I can't. I used to give out coin cases to miners that approached me, but then it became illegal. You can have these instead. Oh, a big nugget. Okay. 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 Sure. Sure. Man at that table lost it all of the slots. Yep. Have any hard-headed Pokemon? Perhaps you ought to teach them Iron Head. Many are gonna learn it. I feel like I want to keep Stealth Rock for now, but it's it's an option. At the end of the day, Rock Ground is perfect coverage. It is. If I can get an Earthquake, as long as I have Rock Slide and Earthquake, there is no Pokemon that is gonna avoid damage. Right? They're all gonna take neutral damage or higher, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess I'm not getting a coin case then, huh? Not from here, at least. I guess I get it from somewhere else. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know exactly where I would get it from in that case. You're looking to farm rare items, yes. Any of Pokemon that has either Super Luck, Frisk, or Compound Eyes as their ability is chanced. I was told to get a Pokemon with Frisk and farm Lucky Eggs for money. Haven't done that yet, but it is still in the back of my mind. I haven't forgotten. Uh, what rewards can I even get? Let's see if we even care about the coin case, first of all. Do I care about the coin case? 
Because if this is just going to be like, hey, you can have an Abra, I'm not going to care. We sell exclusive Pokemon. These Pokemon can be upgraded to their shiny forms for a steep price as well. Well, now you're speaking my language. Interested? A little bit. Which Pokemon would you like? Oh, it's just straight up money. It's not even like coin case. The coin case just doesn't matter. Okay, I like that. So shiny Dragonite, ugly, hate it, don't care. Shiny Dragonair, pretty though, very pretty. Do like that. Um, as this as this is a very very clear like pseudo legendary list for the most part. Let's make question of the day. What is your favorite pseudo legendary? Right, that seems sensible. Um, in fact. Just, what's your favorite from this list? I know Riolu and Lucario aren't pseudo-legendaries, don't get me wrong, but if if Lucario or Rotom or La Vesta, right, Haxorus is maybe in here, if one of those is your favorite, we'll count those instead. Super rare Pokemon. What's your favorite super rare Pokemon, Is I guess, is what we're going to change it to. Um, but Shiny Dragoness, super cool looking, love it. Shiny Dragonite, ugly, and I'm definitely not going to be able to make it through this game using a Dragonair, so, no. Um, Shiny Tyranitar, meh. Shiny Metagross, beautiful, but also kind of common, not gonna lie. I've seen a lot of Shiny Metagross. It's just lost that exclusive touch that maybe it had once. Um, Shiny Silence, Green Cross on, could be Mega. The Mega form's actually something to consider. Mega Tyranitar, Mega... Metagross, Mega Salamence could be good. Mega Lucario would destroy everything with adaptability, and that could be good. Um, Rotom, don't really care too much. Gibble slash Garchomp, shiny form really isn't anything amazing. Volcarona, interesting, interesting, potentially. Dano, Hydreigon, meh. I can't remember what the shiny looks like off the top of my head, actually. Gumi, I kind of like Gumi. I do. I kind of like Gudra, but no. Jangmo-O, ugly disappointed me. Considering it was like the first dragon fighting type and I was really excited for that typing, Jangmo-O did kind of disappoint me actually, and Komo o That Pokemon, I was so happy that there was a dragon fighting type and it's, it's really meh. It really is. Dreepy, definitely I want one. I absolutely want a Dreepy and I absolutely want a shiny Dreepy, for sure. Honedge and Toxel. Toxel and Honedge being in that list seem a little bit weird to me, but okay. Uh, I definitely want to take a Dreepy. I do. I want a Dreepy. For sure. And I will make it shiny, and I will teach it that Dragon Darts move, and it will fire its children at its enemies. That's happening. So how much is it? So if I grab this Dreepy, Dreepy, that'll be a hundred thousand. Would you like to upgrade to us? It'll double the price. Yes, I would. Would you like its hidden ability? I don't remember what its hidden ability is. Dreepy, that'll be a hundred thousand. With its hidden ability, with shiny upgrade, making it another thousand, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand total. Is this correct? I don't have that, so I mean, we're gonna click no, but I will come back and grab one of those for sure. I'm definitely gonna come back and grab one of those. For now, Toxic is something I want. I want that, I want that move. That's a move that I want, yes. I'm about to be broke, aren't I? Ice Beam, again, is a move that I want, because I am also using a Pokemon that could use that right now, which is Ninetales. So actually, yeah, I really want that. I really want that, but it's also expensive, so we'll see what other options we have first. Uh, protect, meh. Could be decent on Gliscor when it gets Toxic Heal. Hyper Voice, good. Thunderbolt, pretty good, but we're using a physical attacker for our electric type. Flamethrower, again, could be good, but we're using a physical attacker for our fire type. Energy Ball, great move, um, but we're using a physical attacker for our grass type. There's a theme happening here. Um, explosion, meh. Shadow Claw, decent. There's some good TMs here. There's some really good TMs here. I need to farm money, don't I? That's my my first order of business, really. I need to farm some money. Scorch Sands. We're gonna buy this for now, just because I don't know what it is, and I'm gonna farm so much money when I can. <laughs> I do have a lot of nuggets that I can sell right now, don't get me wrong. I could probably go ahead and buy the Dreepy right now, but also, I wanna double check its inability before I do that. I really do. For now, what is Scorch Sands? A base 70 power ground type move that may inflict a burn. Well, I have Dig on you at the moment. And you kind of burn things. That's kind of your thing, right? It also just kind of fits. Sadly, it's special. 
thought we were gonna get rid of Dig Ben. I really did. I thought Dig was about to disappear. But still, a cool move. It's definitely new. Like, Dual Wing Beat is new, I think, maybe. <laughs> that or these are moves in the DLC, which, by the way, I now own. I just haven't started yet. Christmas, I did go ahead and buy the Pokemon DLC of Sword and Shield. I just haven't played it yet. These, are, these might be moves that I learn off soon. Who knows? For right now, though, let's go ahead and... Why am I using Fly? I need to get inside that poster. That's what we're doing. We're heading towards the Silphscope. So you, bow me. Guarding this poster, go away or else. Or else what? Or else what, huh? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Nothing. You're gonna mutilate me with, with your Pokemon? You're gonna get that Eraticate to gnaw through my body? Yeah, that, that would suck. Don't do that, actually. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I'm starting to realize what or else could mean. Don't do that. Don't do that. We don't need to do that, right? How much does Rock Slide do? This is no boost. It's not a whole lot of damage. It's really not. But also, it's enough. Is this going to happily put me into my shield's downfall? Thank you, Raticate. It's appreciated. You kind of know exactly what I wanted. Casually halved my health. Um, that's a hustle booster to Raticate, obviously, because it just missed with Sucker Punch. So I'm glad that missed, because that could have sucked. Thankfully, I went for a move that couldn't miss, and that worked out much nicer. Battle's gonna keep gaining XP. Very nice, very nice. Lipod. Do you have Sucker Punch as well? Am I about to get Sucker Punch? No? I mean, my attack is much higher now. This might one shot. There we go. Look at this shiny Minior. Look at him. Look at him. Are you looking? Are you looking intensely? Are you staring deeply into its back and those three little colored spots? Good. Good. Just check. Just check. You know, it's just something I've got to make sure of. The Team Rocket hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss as you run into the hideout, completely revealing it. Oh, the, the, the whole four brain cells of that grunt. Impressive. Very impressive. But uh, we might be able to find ourselves some good items in here, so I kind of want to explore this place kind of thoroughly. And I also need to stop pressing S first of all, but I also want to go ahead and take the amulet coin off of you and put it onto someone else that's going to be in front. This, as much as I love Minior, I don't think I want it in the front right now. But I do definitely want amulet coins on my Pokemon at the start of the fight. For sure I want that. Because money right now is probably the number one thing I need. At the end of the day, money in this game kind of gets you everything. I mean, if I can max your Pokemon's IVs, buy all of the TMs, move to is change their natures, there's no reason not to just have money, right? As long as I'm, I get rich, all of my problems realistically go away. Especially as I can, like, buy those pseudo-legendaries with any abilities. This is nuts. Money, money good. <laughs> money good is what I have learned. Okay. <laughs> But I uh, will see about the rest. At the moment, Dreepy is definitely a Pokemon I want to take with us because, honestly, I kind of like Pokemon and I'm pretty sure I know what this shiny form looks like and I'm pretty sure I like it. Could be wrong on that. Could be wrong on that, but that's definitely a Pokemon I want to take. As for the rest, I don't know. Maybe we'll get to a point where we're fighting a Sand Team and we'll want Tyranitar. Maybe we'll get to a point where we're fighting a Rain Team and we'll want... Was there a Pokemon there that would work in a Rain Team? I don't remember. Either way, <laughs> you get the idea. Maybe we'll come up against something that, that just really works for that. Like, for example, if we come up against a Sand Team and we take the Hone Edge and the Tyranitar, it's going to be a lot easier than if we go into it with um, a Flareon, for example, right? Kind of obvious, but you know. A Bottle Cap. Okay, so we can use that to get a Hidden Ability. Um, we can also use Dream Balls to get Hidden Ability, so I mean, we have plenty of ways to get Hidden Abilities. That's not really an issue. Boss said he can see ghosts with the self-scope. That's what I want. I want that, actually. I'm also going to tear through these fights a little bit quicker than what I was. Okay, that's scary, though, so not that one. Not that one in particular. Hold on, hold on. Um, Flareon, please take the incoming Steel-type move well. Please go for a Steel-type move. Okay, that sucks. Why, Sharp? I can't even, like, see your mouth, you know? Oh, that sucks. I'm taking myself out with this level, it's huh? Although at least I'm gonna take out the Bishop. Like, if I didn't, I didn't. 
I don't like letting my flare on go around for nothing, but if I flame charged and it didn't KO, I'd just get sucker punched anyway, so it's not like it really made a difference. That just was kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Hey, how about we bring in Flapple and you don't miss your moves? I do want to get rid of Hustle. That's something I want to do. Okay, Dragon Rush him. Land it. Nice. Hustle boosted Dragon Rush. Nice. See, Flapple, when it hits its moves, is so good. Also, am I at the cap for levels? I feel like this is a little early. Like, I just fought Erica. It's been three levels. There's like a whole thing to do before we get to, to Koga, right? Unless... There's a whole thing to do. Right? We miss the wing attack, we land all those dragon rushes and miss wing attack? Come on now. There we go. But yeah, I guess I need to really consider... If I want to keep pushing with this team... Or if I want to battle with this team at this second, I guess I should say. Maybe we'll skip a few few more trainers than I originally expected to. Uh, and we'll try and keep our team at level 47. Because while they don't gain a lot of XP, 50 XP at a time, they're slowly going to get their way to the world's level um, 48. And then if they start disobeying me, I become in trouble. Again, I picked up a TM and it looks like it changed to a Megastone, and I hate when it does that, because I get all excited, like, ooh, a Megastone, and then it's not. Even though I know that that's not what the Megastones look like, I'm still stupid enough to, to go ahead and think, ooh, a Megastone. Give me this. Give me this. Alright, thankfully I do remember how to do this puzzle. I've done this puzzle very many times now. It slowly got ingrained into my memory. Slowly but surely. And then there'll be one fan game that'll like change a single tile's position and flip the whole thing around and I'll be confused for days, I swear. That's normally how it goes. Didn't really want to battle you, but here we are. Just, just tail slap. Well, that didn't work out. Well, this didn't work out. Um, go to sleep. Nice. Okay, this really isn't working out how I thought it would. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Also, I'm a little bit speed up happy at the moment, and I really need to stop that. Sometimes I just get into one of those moves where I just want to hold the button. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Uh, but let's... Use our healing supplies, because those are a thing that I may as well use whenever I need. No, I was in the right tab. Okay. Let's go ahead and revive up our team, as we can't use these in battles, and I really need to get that into my head. I really do. I should also buy... I was about to wreck Annie to revive my Flareon and that would have been a disaster. Oh, sometimes my brain remembering how to do things is bad. Okay. Um, yeah, I just want to heal up my team. Sadly, I'm taking Minior out of its fun form. Also, we should be fine. And we should be able to tear through everything. Can I use this without the elevator key? I don't know why I just even asked that question when I knew the answer, but... Let's go ahead and head down to the next floor and grab ourselves a key! No, this isn't... My brain is just like, hey, I want you to run into every possible battle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Fury Swipes. You know, I thought that was a stupid idea going into a, uh... Going into a Steel type with my Rock type, but it seem to work out, which is kind of strange, but okay. Okay, sometimes you do the wrong thing and it works out. I want the item on the right first, because if not, that's going to suck to get later. Rare candy. Useful for when I want to train up a Pokemon for a specific fight, but also kind of scary because I don't want to overlevel my Pokemon. <laughs> it's such a struggle. It's such a struggle. Level caps? I get why they're there. I do. I get it. Also, ugh. Ugh, level caps. Black glasses. What does Luxray have at the moment? Chesterberry. Yeah, I'd say, to be honest, I'd rather have the black glasses than the Chesterberry. And I do have a... a I, um, 
a Magna in here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. But I feel like Black Glasses is slightly better now that um, our Dark Type moves are stab and Crunch is stronger base power than Spark. Makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. Gimme. That's not the key. He is up here. I know these things. First of all, though, Gem 49 Leech Life. Can anyone learn that? Because if that's the base 80 version of Leech Life, that's a good TM right there. And good TMs are something that I like the sound of. It was base 80 and no one can learn it. That's a shame. It makes sense. None of my Pokemon are bugs. Also, it's a good move. I like my HP recovery moves. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? I wonder. I bet it's, I bet it's Steve. Minecraft Steve downstairs. I bet he has it. He can explode. Oh, we're about to tap for his team. Hey, why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta miss the important move, huh? Speed? Oh, come on! I'm out of PP on rocks left. I want you to stealth rock like the best of them, Minior, okay? This will be your dying moment. Stealth rock like the best of them. You did good. You did good. Okay. You did good. Those rocks... They might be useful. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to make any false promises to it. Okay? But they might be useful. Let's see. What comes out next? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about the fact that I just stealth rock on a, on a... It didn't matter anyway. It really didn't matter. It, like... Minio is gonna go down either way. It's fine. I don't have return, so it's not like its happiness matters. It just makes me a little bit sad inside to know that my Minio probably hates me for being a dumbass. <laughs> That's all. That's all it is. That's fine. Uh, let's go back at the heel, and I guess we'll go ahead and try and have a fight. Wait, are we gonna fight? Hold on. Wait. 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 I don't want to say anything else just yet, because I might be being stupid. But I feel like I've just figured out why the level cap is what it is. Maybe. Am I dumb? I might just be dumb. Uh, either way... I don't know why I'm hesitating. Yes, I can get to the elevator from here. What is my brain doing? Oh boy, the lack of sleep that I've had lately is catching up to me. Does anyone else ever just have, like... A random week of the year, right? Or not even year, but like every every three months or so, you just have a week where you just sit down and play a Minecraft mod pack and you just don't stop playing it. And then you realize and you look at the time and you're like, wow, I've been playing this for like 24 hours straight. And then you realize you have to record. And, uh, and then you realize how tired you are. Anyone else have these moments? <laughs> have I summed up my experience well enough? I feel like I have. But yeah, I'm in one of those weeks at the moment. It happens every now and again. I have to battle both of you, don't I? Um, we'll lead with Momo, because at the end of the day... Should I have gone for Bullet Seed? Yes. Did I? No. The Bullet Seed would have absolutely been better. We can Tail Slap through your team. That I can't Tail Slap through. That's a little bit scarier. Grab uh, Apple? We need to not miss these crucial grab apples. <sighs> I couldn't ability pull it, could I? <laughs> I I know I shouldn't be trying to do this right now, but yeah, okay, because it's a hidden ability. I need to unhidden ability it. That would be great. That would make me happy if I could do that, but I don't think I can. Survivor, you should go down to a tail slap. Good. Scum tank. Honestly, you might go down to a tail slap as well. Nope. Memento! Works for me, I guess? And we'll just go and grab Apple? If I use Fly, am I gonna avoid him entirely? Yes. Yes, I am. You fool. You've messed up, haven't you? You've messed up. Ha! Go for Dig again. Okay, okay, okay. That's not dig. That's not dig. That's not what I asked for. Grab apple, please finish him. Okay, that's fine. Look at all those apples. Look at that massive apples. 
Where does Black Hole get so many apples? Are the apples not his brethren? Are those his brothers? Has he lost his allies? Did he just throw all of his allies? Are those his children, the little applings? Poor things. Poor things. What an attack. Uh, may as well just pipe potion up, I guess. Potions are really cheap in this game as well. So I think the reason the level cap is what it is, is because we're about to have a tough fight here, right? Yeah, I really should have put two and two together. I don't know why I was thinking about Koga being the next boss. This is probably the next boss, right? Okay. Again, I'm just gonna kind of lead with Momo because it's neutral to a lot of things. It has the bullet seed in case there's a Rhyhorn or anything like that. Let's see how it goes. So I must say I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. Important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And the leader Giovanni. Your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. I'm probably gonna lose this fight. I will be perfectly honest with you. I don't know what team he's gonna have. And that's gonna be a problem. Nido King. Kind of normal. Kind of normal, actually. I kind of want to put it to sleep. If I could put it to sleep, that'd be such a good start. <sighs> it's a good sign when you miss the first move. It's a good sign. You know, it really, really tells the tale of how things are gonna go, right? Well, no reason not to go for it again, right? Yep. Yep. That's... That's one way to start. That's a way to start. I'm shell smashing on it. I'm doing it. Is this a dumb idea? Yes. Yes it is. Am I doing this too early? Maybe. Maybe. Definitely a maybe. But I'm gonna shell smash on it. And we're gonna see how this goes. The color of the word rock just then made me think I was out of PP for my move, and that was really scary. Please live this ice beam. You're a pretty tanky Pokemon. I don't want to see any priority right now. Priority is really going to screw over my plan for Minior, isn't it? It's really going to ruin my day. A single Mark Punch or anything like that is really going to ruin my Shell Smash plan for this Pokemon. And that makes me really sad, but Nidoking doesn't get any, right? With Drew Nidoking, why? What are you doing? Going to Kangaskhan. Do you have priority? I don't think you have priority. Mega Kangaskhan. Yep, that was kind of expected. It makes sense for him to have a Mega Kangaskhan. I completely get that. That makes perfect sense. Please land the Rock Slide. Fake out. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm, I'm just... You know? You know? Don't have words. Just don't have words. That just makes me sad. That makes me really, really sad. Fake out. Didn't think about that. I'll be honest. Really hadn't thought about that. This is a stab crunch. Black glasses boosted. At least it's not earthquake. Intimidated. Yep. There's the extra. The extra hit really didn't do that much. Has the extra hit been nerfed? Please. I'm just gonna crunch again. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And we're gonna see what comes out. And we're gonna see how it goes. There's still a Nido King around. I imagine that's gonna come back out, and that's gonna be a problem. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's annoying, but it makes sense. How fast are you, Flapple? Are you fast enough? 125 base speed. It's reasonably fast, don't get me wrong. I mean, El the Nido King outsped shields down Minior, which isn't really that impressive. I don't know what its base speed is. All I know... All I know is that Luxray is my slowest Pokemon. And I feel like it would outspeed my Luxray. So I kind of want to go into Flapple and see if Flapple outspeeds. Don't predict this and go for a Poison type move. You don't know I have a Flapple. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can live in Earth Power. That does way more damage than I wanted it to. But we can go ahead. We can slap it with a Grab Apple. I don't ask me. Okay. 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 That's a problem. That's a real problem. I also don't have Ice Beam on my Ninetales. 
Ah, this is just not gonna work out, is it? We do outspeed, Aurora Beam should hit reasonably hard, but it's also not as strong as Ice Beam. If this does over two thirds, yeah, okay, Ice Beam probably would have killed. But we don't have Ice Beam, so... Instead, we are gonna go ahead and try and finish you with a Flame Charge, because I feel like I'm gonna need a Speed Boost to really do anything. If I can get this speed, this kill, get this Speed Boost, and every other Pokémon is four times weak to fire, say he brings out a Ferrothorn and a Sizzle, then I have a real shot at winning this. However, I really doubt that's the case. <laughs> I really, really doubt it. Ponch Crow. I can probably one-shot that with a Flare Blitz, right? I kind of have to Flare Blitz, and I'm also expecting a Sucker Punch. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, Ponch Crow hits really hard, but you know what? He has one Pokemon left. Can it be, like, a Wingull? <laughs> Please send out a Wingull. Please, just a Wingull. A nice, nice happy Wingull for my Luxray to take out. Don't be a Rhydon. It's gonna be a Rhydon, isn't it? <laughs> I knew, I just knew what it was gonna be. This just didn't work out really, did it? It really didn't work out. I have Ice Fang. It's gonna do three whole damage. Freeze him. Freeze him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Again. Freeze. Alright. We just need a nice happy freeze. Okay? Freeze him. I went about as I expected, <laughs> to be honest. I felt like we were going to lose that. I really did. When you go into these fights without knowing what their team's going to be, yeah, it's usually a struggle. Plus, this team was built to deal with grass types. Not that. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, I think if I just bring, like, Blastoise with us for that end part, realistically, we're fine. Also, maybe don't Shell Smash with Minior, maybe just Bulldoze with Minior to drop things speed. That could also work. Either way, that fight should be fine. We can go ahead and win that fight next episode. That shouldn't be too much trouble. I'll also try and get a whole lot of money so we can maybe get a Dreepy and some stuff for next episode as well, because that could be fun. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!